very trained very early in school, in medical school or nursing school, to see things as, a, as pieces of a puzzle. We see symptoms, we see a disease, we see the acute myocardial infarction, but we forget that that piece, that heart, is part of a whole picture, and that whole picture is a person. So if we forget about the person, about everything else, we don't see the rest of it. If I were like Dr. Avira now, I would say, hmm, this person is a little bit obese, she looks well, but she has an age, you know, just put her in observation and perform an EKG. That's looking at the whole picture. And that mentality cannot wait until you're facing a patient because Julia will suffer. You have to broaden, broaden the student's mind very early into their education. Is a heart just a heart? Yeah, when I study anatomy, it is just a heart, right? Veins and ventricles and and uh, valves, but doesn't it have an embryology part of it? Or anatomy, it does, certainly. Histology, yeah, sure. Biology, of course it does. Pathology, physiology, you can name it all. But it's all in one heart, so why view it just as a heart? Again, we're looking at the pieces, we're not looking at the big picture, we're missing Julia. We're seeing the bump in her head. Fortunately, there are solutions. We, as uh, leaders of information, have that responsibility. So you have information joined with technology, joined with advanced tools, to give all this whole picture and something that I've heard before, multidisciplinary, vertically integrated learning but it's very focused in the student, student-based learning.